Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace damaged cord on a fuel cup. This vehicle is Honda Jazz. So I had a look in the UK but I couldn't find anywhere only the cord and this, and this ring which the cord connects to. The only option was to get the cup and the cord with the ring which was about 15 pound on eBay so I managed to find in China which takes about took about two weeks to arrive the ring and the cord for two pound fifty three that's including postage the price everything so I'm gonna open this and I'll show you how to how to install it okay let's go ahead and open the plastic that's our ring the cord now we have to remove the ring the old ring which is on the fuel cup how to do it just go with flat screwdriver lift it prise it out There is our old ring. Just remember how it come on off, which way, so you can install the new one the same way. Actually, this wasn't for exactly Honda Jazz. It didn't say it will fit there, but it did say it will fit for Honda Honda Accord. So I presume they will be all the same. As you can see, it's exactly the same. So let's go ahead and fit the new one. Okay guys, so what happened is I were quite struggle to push the new ring inside. Maybe the reason is because just this is not for jazz. It says it doesn't fit jazz. But what I realize is I need only the cord. It's important for me. And I, thought I probably used the old ring came from that cup and also looks a bit bigger to me so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that rubber from the inside here there you go and I'm gonna get the new one the one what I install here and put it on the old ring and this goes that way it nicely in come on then okay there you go it's in right now I need to put it back on like I said I also compare them this looks slightly bigger than the one I get so let's see if this will work like i said remember which one this needs to go is that way so it will lock the cord inside let's give it a go now they're quite hard these rings they don't have any flexibility to be honest I'm keep coming off here Oh wow, wow that was actually <clears throat> a lot harder than I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, wow that took some time, but yeah finally it's in, <laughs> so the easiest way was, not quite easy but 
<laughs> the way which it work it this was to use the screwdriver push one side in and then go and slide it with the screwdriver like i said there is no any flexibility to that it's quite hard plastic but it's finally in let's go ahead and install it okay guys all right let's remove the cup the side so what we have to do next is this clip here which holds the cord how to remove it there is a little clip at the back just lift it up and slide it backward and that it will release open it remove the damage cord get the new one and put it back on it goes on here close it yes so you heard a little click and then put it on top and just push it forward that click there you go it's fixed uh, no more worrying on the petrol station when I go to top of some fuel where to leave the cup always need to hold in hand otherwise I will forget it but there you go now all done for two pound fifty four the state of fifteen pounds so thanks for watching the difficult part was putting back the ring on but it is what it is you live and learn so thanks for watching guys see you next time bye